Okay. So this is basically um, a fact sheet with all the key information uh, that you need to know about uh, Hyper NFT, Hyper Nation, and uh, you know all you need to know. So whitelist, whitelist subscribed using HU from Hyperverse is not refundable. However, USDT is deductible when you subscribe to the purple box or platinum box. This year means that. If when the time when we were offered to use our HUs to go onto the whitelist using 100, 100 HU, those who did that, it's fine, but it's not refundable. However, those who actually paid in USDT to reserve their spot on the whitelist, those one, if they choose to purchase a purple box or a platinum box, they will only pay the price of a purple box minus the 100 USDT they've already paid. Same thing for the platinum box minus 100 USDT. Next, users who have a whitelist spot can get a yellow mystery box for free. So anybody who got a spot, whether using hyper unit or USDT, will get a um, yellow mystery box for free. Uh, next one is with a yellow mystery box, you can choose to upgrade to a purple mystery box worth 10,000 HU with 100 HU discount. This is only, of course, for those who paid in USDT. So the actual upgrading payment is then 9,900 HU. All right. But you still have to pay these 9,900 HU in USDT. So you can also upgrade a yellow mystery box to a platinum mystery box worth 100,000 HU with 100 HU discount for those who paid the 100 HU in USDT. So they'll actually be paying now 99,900 HU. Currently, each user can only use, uh, can only purchase one mystery box. The mystery box cannot be opened immediately after purchase. There will be a collective opening time for box holders, so please stay tuned. Users who purchase the Platinum Mystery Box are entitled to SSR 3D NFTs. Users with a Purple Mystery Box are entitled to get the 3D NFT. Um, and users with a yellow box will receive 2D NFTs. Now, talking about upgrade, 100 USDT Hyper NFT can be upgraded to a 10K or 100K Hyper NFT plan, uh, uh, NFT plan until mid of July, unless further notice from corporate. Another way not to be able to do it in, you know, until mid of July is if they run out. The option to upgrade to the 100K NFT will cease once the 200 platinum boxes are sold out or until mid-July, whichever comes first, unless further notice from corporate. The option to upgrade is not reversible after the binding association process is completed. There will be a message to alert you prior to the binding. However, we are currently working to assist users who wish to upgrade their mystery box after they have completed the NFT key association process. We will compile the usernames every three days for such users. You can request the invitation code for Hyper NFT from your offline or respective node leader. If you fail to get any code from any of them, please let us know. Now, talking about the special node package, those who wish to become a node can subscribe to the purple box at 10K USDT or pro node at 100K USDT. Those who do not want to subscribe to the purple or platinum box can opt for the yellow box at 100 USDT if they wish to enter the hyper nation. Keep in mind, the NFT is your passport to get you in there 
so that you can visit as a tourist for free. However, you don't have any, uh, that's all you can do when you enter with your yellow, uh, with your box, okay, with your uh, yellow NFT. So next, after subscribing to the Nodes NFT package at 10K USDT or Pro Node at 100K USDT, a certain percentage at about 10 to 20% for Purple Box and 15 to 30% for Platinum Box of your pending rewards can be migrated to Hyper Nation. This is still subject to a separate negotiation call between the Hyperverse node and Super Node together with corporate, meaning together with the hypertech group. So basically this means that if you are a 10K uh, node uh, owner, node NFT owner or a 100K node NFT owner, you could migrate for purple box owner 10 to 20% of your pending rewards from Hyperverse. And if you are 15 to, uh, if you are um, a pro node with 100K USDT, NFT, you could migrate 15 to 30% of your pending rewards into Hyper Nation. This may not be the final plan as we're, we are currently making concerted efforts to ensure the interests of all stakeholders. We are still constantly collecting constructive feedback from all parties in order to execute a much better plan. Meanwhile, your Hyperverse account will still exist even after you join Hypernation. During phase one of the transition, you're simply migrating your network relationship, not the account. What does this mean? For those who will join, the phase one is basically the phase where uh, super nodes and node start sharing their link with each other. Like, let's say, for example, I am the upline of um, you know, somebody who is wishing to become a node, they'll wait and ask me for my invitation link. If I'm a node or a super node, I'll provide the link. But if I'm not a node, I'll have to ask that person to move up to my upline and see if my upline has got a node, uh, um, has got uh, an invitation link. If my upline does not, he will then keep going up the tree until he or she reaches somebody in our tree that holds an NFT. That's how it's supposed to work. Um, so when you subscribe to the 10K USDT NFT plan, you can migrate up to 10 tiers of your network from Hyperverse to Hypernation. And if your entire network, and you can migrate your entire network if you own a 100,000 USDT NFT plan, you'll also have the same value, 10K or 100K, of a special package credited into your Hypernation with a 5X rewards to be distributed daily at a rate higher than 0.5%. We saw in our back offices in Hyperverse today or maybe uh, since yesterday that it's going to be 0.7% for those who hold a 10K, so for um, nodes and then uh, pro nodes. You're going to be enjoying a 0.7% daily on top of having their, um, you know, their membership value multiplied by five. Hyper NFT Yellow Box Community. Yellow Box subscriber will not be entitled to asset migration from Hyperverse to Hyper N to Hyper Nation during phase one. Okay? So during phase one, meaning the phase that we are in right now, where any owner of a, a 10K or 100K NFT has the possibility to either migrate their community or my, uh, no, migrate their genealogy and network. Um, so the yellow NFT owner will not have that possibility. Okay. And when they say migrating your, um, your network, all it means is basically 
keep the link with all the uplines and downlines. So basically, 10 for the 10, uh, 10,000 USDT plan, you will be allowed to migrate the relationship that you have in your tree up to or down to 10 levels deep into hypernation. That means that anybody who was below you will remain below you. So when they choose to, to acquire a yellow NFT, they will remain under your tree. So basically what it does is it gives those who own the, uh, the, uh, the 10K, the node, it gives them, for those at least who are community builders, it gives them at least a, a little relief because they don't have to go back at building their community from scratch. Okay? So the yellow box community, uh, I read this already. This 100 USDT is his or her ticket or passport to enter hypernation and it's not refundable. They will not have an invitation code as they are not eligible to migrate their community from hyperverse to hypernation. However, they'll still be able to receive their community rewards in hypernation when they recruit new members or their downline purchase package in hypernation. This means that for the yellow box, you will not get an invitation code that you can share with people to join your network. All you will be able to do is um, if or when you join to use your hypernation invitation code to get your um uh, to get your, uh, you know, to invite people, if you wish to do so, to join your new network in Hypernation. That's what it means. So normal packages will be available for sale to all members, including yellow, purple, and platinum box subscribers. After mid-July, with a 3x rewards to be distributed daily at a rate higher than 0.5%. Okay. Now, for those who choose not to participate, meaning they do not have an NFT from hyper, uh, you know, a high, from hyper NFT, a user who decides not to buy the NFT can still remain in the hyperverse. He or she will still receive his or her rewards as usual and the right for withdrawals, but there could be a longer lead time of up to six months, meaning this is what I meant before where uh, they saying that it may take them up to six months to fix the platform so people can go back to withdrawing normally in Hyperverse. So do, do note that the word disbursement may slow down from time to time subject to final decision from 